Well, we're continuing our conversation here talking about Medicaid policy, and one of the things that's related to the policy that we've been talking about is a, a moratorium on, on new enrollments for, for some of the uh, AIDS, those positions. Cody, what, what exactly is the moratorium? The moratorium is uh, was a freeze, a six-month freeze on enrollment of a couple of provider types that we have, um, particularly the uh, lower levels of lower uh, levels w that we would call QMHA and QMH, uh, QMBA, QBA. 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 Um, to, you know better than I do. <laughs> qualified Behavioral Aids and Qualified yes. Mental Health Associates. Associates, right? yes. And okay. so those are are people that assist therapists and provide certain levels of mental health uh, services like psychosocial rehab. In examining our data, we came to the conclusion that we needed to readdress the qualifications we were using to enroll those individuals. Mm -hmm. So uh, CMS, our federal partner, affords us what's called a moratorium. We can freeze those enrollments for six months, get those qualifications straightened up, and then start enrolling again under the new qualifications. And we're, the and moratorium went into effect in December. Um, and we're looking to be ready to start re-enrolling with those new qualifications in um, June. Uh, there was legislation pending, as you know, we're in legislative session, so uh, there was legislation pending that might impact that. So that gives us a little bit of uh, a little bit of a uncertain future. Um, but if there's if legislation doesn't pass, we'll do uh, those qualifications. Uh, in policy, what what's actually happening in the bill? How the is that proposal, restricted? It would be a it would be a certification for those levels that would be done through one of our sister agencies. Gotcha. And I'm wondering when, when we're talking about moratorium and, and requalification or new qualifications, how is is that being informed at all by the focus groups that that are part of what we've done with neurotherapy already? It is. It is. Uh, much of that information came to us from uh, from some of those groups. Um, and then also other states that have uh, certification processes. So, you know, I can speak to at least with the neurotherapy policy. Mm -hmm. We did create a new certification policy that will be implemented to reduce the unqualified, uh, you know, kind of paraprofessionals that are entering into that neurotherapy workspace. Um, so I think that goes in line with this new initiative of Medicaid to start credentialing.